In the 1800s, interracial marriage was taboo and often illegal in much of the United States. Those brave enough to wed someone from a different race could face terrible consequences. But this did not stop Harriet R. Gold Boudinot from marrying the love of her life. Harriet's father was one of the white founders of the Foreign Mission School, which took promising young indigenous boys away from their families to fully immerse them into white society. Harriet's family often hosted these students in their home, which is how Harriet met a Cherokee man named Elias Boudinot. Harriet and Elias fell in love, and in 1825, Harriet asked her father to approve their marriage. Elias was the son of a prominent Cherokee family, but Harriet's parents did not think it was appropriate for an indigenous man to marry their daughter. Harriet argued her case, claiming that her marriage would allow her to bring Christian values directly to the Cherokee community. Her parents eventually gave their blessing, but when the town found out about the marriage, there was an uproar. Her own brother threatened to murder Elias. Elias and the Cherokee leaders were horrified when they learned about the reaction of the Cornwall community but the marriage also posed challenges for the Cherokee community. In their tradition, clan membership passed from mother to child, but Harriet was not Cherokee. So the nation passed a law to make sure that Elias and Harriet's children would have membership in a Cherokee clan. This upended centuries of matrilineal tradition. Harriet and Elias married in a private ceremony in 1826. Soon after, the mission school was closed in disgrace, and the building was burned down. Harriet was welcomed by the Cherokee community. She advocated for Cherokee rights in letters to her family. She gave birth to six children before she died from pregnancy complications in 1836. How did Harriet R. Gold Boudinot's interracial marriage impact the Cherokee and Cornwall communities 